Hi, this is a project schedule template. Some people will call it a Gantt chart. Some people may call it a WBS or work breakdown structure, but really this is a project schedule template. And the purpose of, the, of a project schedule is to input activities or tasks and associate those with other attributes like resources, durations, and links um, for instance, the predecessors um, in the project schedule should always be kept in line with reality. Now, this project schedule template is very dynamic, uh, has uh, uh, links between the tasks already established, and uh, it has a number of built-in formulas for calculation. We can see that it's automatic, automatically going to keep track of our task status with respect to those tasks that are not started, in progress, overdue, or complete. Because this is just the template, um, it's, uh, it, it has an older start date and, 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 a, and a targeted finish date that's just part of the template. And you'll notice the task names here, as well as the assigned to, are nothing but placeholders. <laughs> But now let's take a look at a completed um, project schedule, one that's uh, more in line with reality. So here's a here's an example of, from a, of a schedule project schedule from a carpet project. We can see the uh, the actual tasks that need to be completed in this carpet project by in this case by phase. We can see who is assigned to each task. We can also see the targeted, we can, we can see the overall um, project start date here at the top, which automatically drives the start date of the task down below. All of the blue cells are the ones that you can and should manually update. And you can see that we've input the duration for each one of these tasks. When we input the duration, the dates will automatically change based upon the logic of the tasks, the sequential logic of the tasks and the duration of each task. And then there's the status column over here to the right. This too is automatically being calculated based upon, based upon today's date, uh, the start date of the task, the finish date of the task, and the percent complete. It's automatically calculating the status date. One more thing to note is you'll notice that the start date of the project appears out here on the timeline in green. The end date of the project automatically, or when you populate this, it automatically appears on the timeline here on the right. And then the today's date will automatically highlight here in blue. It is possible to expand and collapse the different phases of your project like this. And, uh, and as you update the dates, and, or excuse me, the duration here on these tasks, the, the bar chart will automatically update to reflect uh, the duration. And then finally at the top, with respect to that overall task status, you can see in this project, we have seven tasks that have not started. Um, we can see those here, they're, they're in gray. Um, four tasks that are, that, are, that are complete, and we can even see that. We can see that by looking at the blue or highlighting over the pie chart. We can see one task that it is showing is overdue. And if we look down below, we can see just exactly which task that is that's overdue, given that today, today's date is the sixth, and this task is only 50% 50 50 50 complete, and it was targeted to complete on the on the fifth. So this task is an overdue. Uh, the next task, the major room task here, it, we can see it's the one that's in progress, and it's the one that's showing up in green. So with that, that's an overview of a completed example for the project schedule. I hope this helps.